Creating a 3D test effect from scratch can be very difficult and also time consuming. So in this video, I'm going to show you where you can get 3D test effects and how you can customize it by changing the fonts and much more. By the end of this video, I will give you over 30 different 3D test effects for free. So stay with me. Without any further ado, let's dive in. There are several websites you can download 3D test effect templates from, but these are my recommendations. Websites like victizy.com has some 3D test effect templates over there. So when you come here, you have to click on this drop down here and you select PSDs or templates. Any of them will work fine. Or you can just click on the set bar here and then you search 3D text effect. So you go through them like this and then you select the one that you think is nice to you. Okay, let's take this school. It's a pro teacher. Let's go back. And one thing that you can do is that you can select the lenses type. So you can go for free lenses. Yeah. So all these ones are here for free. As for these ones here, it's just for advertisement. So it's from Adobe Stop. The ones here are on this website. So you search for these ones and then you take the ones that you think are nice for you. When you go to them, you get something good for your design. So let's click on this one here. It looks better. So to download, let's have to click on the free download here. And then we log in. So you can log in with Google or Facebook, or you can just manually type in your email address and then your password. So I'm going to go with Google. And, uh, you can select anything. I'm just trying to set up the interface so that I can download. Right after that, the download will just start and then everything will continue like that. So as you can see here, the download is complete. So another website that you can get 3D test effect templates is the almighty FreePick.com. FreePick is one of the biggest, or even I can say FreePick is the biggest design resource website out there. It contains a lot of design resources like mockups, PSD files, PNG images, stock photos, 3D test templates, and much more. And one thing I like about FreePick is that, let's say something, 3D test effect. It has these features where you can filter everything that you prefer. So we have vectors, illustrations, photos, icons, videos, PSD, templates, mockups, lines, if you have free, premium, you have AI generated, you open up, and then you have the um, base model, color, you have include templates, a whole lot of filters to get the one that you prefer. So let's see, with a 3D test effect, we want a PSD file and then a free version of that. For the rest, let's keep everything constant. These are the free 3D test effects you can get on FreePick. So as you can see, you can just go through them and then select anyone that you think will work for your design. So let's double click on this legend here. To download something from FreePick is a bit different from the other website. You have to click on this drop down here, the drop down beside the download, and then you select the kind of file you want to download. So you can download the PSD file or the JPEG. Sometimes if you just click on download, it will download either the JPEG file or just a file that is not editable. So to be specific about the download, just have to go ahead and then you select PSD. The download will just start. So as you can see, it is downloading up here. Okay, so after downloading them, all that you have to do is to go to your download folder. You can click up here and then right click and then we show in folder. And here is where I downloaded them. So sometimes your download may not come in a form of a PSD file like this one. You see this one, it came straight away Adobe Photoshop file. But sometimes it will come in a form of this, a zip file. So to unzip this, I have to right click on this and then we use software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. So if you don't have any software to unzip it, just go to your favorite browser and then you search WinRAR download for PC. And then you click on the first link. And then here is it, you just click on this one and it is very simple. And after downloading, you just have to double click on it and then everything will be installed. You just click on install and then it will be installed. I have it already, so I'm not going to install it again. After getting your WinRAR installed, you can see the file like this. So you right click on it and then you come to WinRAR and then you go to extract to the name of the file like this one. So that is the third one. So some few minutes it will be done. So this is the folder. So you double click on it to open it. You have the files in there. This is a design I did for someone. So you're just going to use the 3D test effect I did here. So we're going to delete this and then redo it again. We're going to start it from scratch. I mean, just the 3D test effect. So I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to import it, everything from scratch. So what I do is that I go to file, open, and then I locate where my PSD file is. So as you can see, 
by the end of this video i will leave a link so that i can download the folder that contains all these 3d test effects for free so just stay with me so this is what i'm going to use for the flyer so just double click on this one so this is the preview and this is the psd part so you double click on it and then it's gonna open in photoshop click on update so this is how it looks like so we're going to change the test details so we come down here and then you double click on this one as you can see the edit you see it will tell you edit test here this is the layer that contains the test and then this one is the i mean these are the edits and then there are some additional tests you can just turn them off and then the badge and everything you can just control whatever you want to do with any of the layers so we are just going to double click on the thumbnail here the thumbnail you can see this one here so double click on it to open the editable test so just double click on it and then you change it to all nine so you just have to adjust the test so that it will fit what you want to do the spacing is too much so you just have to open it up like so and then the size to we decrease the size so something like this will work well so you just have to close the file so you click on this part here to close it and you click on yes to save it nice one you just have to press and hold on control on the keyboard and then you select everything that is included so up to the batch yeah the background and an additional text we don't need it so we just click on ctrl g to group them and let's confirm whether what we have selected is what we need so we click on the eye here to turn off the layer yeah that's what we need we just need the one that we have turned it off let me clear everything for you to see what i'm trying to say so let's turn off this and let's turn off this one as well yeah so this is what we need for the project so all that you have to do is that click on it and then you drag it to the other file where you are designing the flyer press on ctrl t and then you transform okay let's bring the ninth of restoration on top on top like so there's this unnecessary brightness in here let's take it out so let's open the folder that we just bought and then let's turn off the brightness so that is how i did it it's very simple to do now let me show you how you can change the font open the folder like this and then you double click on the thumbnail and now as the test is selected you come up here and then just change the font to any font that you prefer so let's choose let's say Montserrat click on the check mark and then you close this one yes nice obviously the font has changed so with this one you just have to reduce the size of the whole thing And one more thing you must know is that 3D test effects do not work for every design. So if a 3D test effect is not working for the project, just go for the simple one. And also your PC may run a bit slower when you are using it, mostly when your PC has a low speed. But if you want to learn how to create a 3D test effect from scratch in Photoshop, comment down below in the comment section and I'll drop a step-by-step -step tutorial on that for you. So to download the folder that contains all these 3D test templates, kindly check the video description for the link to download it. I am giving out all the resources I use for my designs. Yes. You heard me right you can access them using the first link in the description it contains my personal psd files for chest flyers backgrounds premium mockups different kinds of textures over 100 png images color samples fonts and more and one thing about this package is that i'll be adding more resources to keep the files updated to access that you just have to pay a small fee so get this pack now and wow your clients but until next time quench not your creativity peace